This is Spencer on frame 3. I'm your type of a wallpaper install and coming to you from the Tampa Bay area. And on frame 3 I just want to show you that we have all of our uh, furniture and the bathroom covered that we showed you on frame 1. And now what I'm doing is applying a sealer membrane on the entire surface. This is not watered down Okay. Uh, although you could water it down, but it takes a lot longer to dry it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't water it down too much. It can go on, if it, depending on the humidity in the room, if it goes on full strength, if you're pressing on the roller too hard, it will create edge marks that you got to knock down. So. Full strength, you have, to, you have to know how to paint in order to roll it on or brush it on. What I did was, I went around the room first, all around the edges, and I cut the walls and ceilings with, with this material. Now, you see this shine on this paint here? These, this woodwork is painted already. This was my first failure as a paper hanger when I was a young paper hanger. That comes out onto the wall. The painter, you know, saved time and they just got the paint on the wall, you know. Now, if the paint were a more pigmented color, I can tell you this, it would come right through the uh, wall covering because the wall covering is a very light color. But that's not an issue here. But that might be for your situation, so keep that in mind. Secondly, if I do not prime that shiny paint, my wallpaper is going to look lovely today. And in a week, it'll be, it'll, it'll be off here and all wrinkled and shriveled up because <clears throat> it won't stick to that shiny paint. You must hit it with this. But I hit it with something else. I, I hit it with this, I let it dry, and then I put a vinyl over vinyl glue on it. Because I do this for a living. I can't be coming back to jobs. Oh, the wallpaper came off in the, in the corner. So if you really want to tack your wallpaper down properly, you want to use Romans 999 or its uh, industri industry equivalent, such as Shields, or, and I would use vinyl over vinyl wool covering. If you don't have access to that, you can get border adhesive. They're selling them at Lowe's in, a, in like a quart can. It has a nice little roll around the end. You can, you can actually roll it around here, you know, but you got to wash that off because the glue will make it very sticky. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that this is what we're doing as we're almost ready for wallpaper. Uh, you want a good brush for this. You want to get a very good uh, paintbrush. A three inch angled sash brush is what you want. You see the angle on? Well, everything has an angle. This has, not a 45, I don't know what angle it is, but you want an angle on the brush. So that you can get into your corners nice and nice and tight. And that's how you do it. I want you to do that on your installations too. Okay, we're almost ready to hang paper. I'll see you on the next frame. This is Spencer, your Tampa Bay wallpaper installer, coming to you from sunny Florida. If you like the video, click on like. You find it helpful, share it with a friend. Subscribe to my channel, and this way I'll keep making more videos. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.